What is going on everybody? Thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. Today I have for you a big box good. That's right, today we're going to be taking a look at the No Boundaries Men's and Big Men's Bobber Jacket up to size 5XL I picked up at Walmart for $19.96. Out of 5 stars, this jacket does get 5 out of 5 out of 62 customer reviews. This jacket does come in six different colors. Blue Cove, which we have in front of us here today. Charcoal Sky. Deep Chianti. Rich Black. Smoky Olive. And White Gold. This jacket does range in between sizes small and 5XL. Today we're going to be doing a first impressions and a try on so you can get a good idea of what this jacket looks like. The quality of it. Uh, it is a size XL. I am about 6'2", 215 pounds. So, and last but not least, we're going to pretty much take a look around at the jacket. We're going to be doing a first impressions. I'm going to give you a close-up look at the material, some of the features that it has. So yeah, stick around for that and for the try-on at the very end of the video. For now, let's go ahead and get into it. So here we have the men's and big men's bomber jacket. This is by No Boundaries. I did find this at Walmart actually just a few months ago, and I've actually been wanting to review it. I think it's actually a pretty cool and stylish looking jacket. It's sort of this uh, nylon type material like any other sort of windbreaker type jacket would be. Uh, it actually kind of has a nice sheen to it, but it's not bright or stand out or stand offish in any way. It's actually kind of subdued, but like I said, it has a little bit of a sheen to it, which actually does give it kind of a luxurious look. It actually gives it a sort of premium look and feel actually. Uh, what's also nice is the inside of the pockets are the same exact material as the outside of the jacket. So you don't really have to worry about the material on the inside ripping or fraying. You know, say if you put a set of keys in there, uh, on the left side of the jacket, you do have a similar sized pocket. I would say this pocket here is big enough for a cell phone. As you can see, it's probably big enough for the plus size iPhones like the 11 Pro Max by Apple, for example. You can see at the end of the sleeve, you do get some more of that spandex cotton material, so it should uh, hold down onto the wrist nicely. Uh, running along the zipper, you'll see some stitching here. No pulling, no fraying there. Everything looks very well put together. Uh, at the bottom of the jacket here, you do get this cotton spandex type material. So it should grip the waist nicely, which will actually ensure that it fits around the waist nicely, that it doesn't look baggy, that it doesn't look droopy. Um, you can actually see that it comes with a pocket on the side of your arm. So you can actually store a couple of things in there. Also, there are other little pockets here, sort of stitched in. I would say you can see my finger in it. This is probably good for a little pen. Uh, like I said, I wouldn't necessarily count on a jacket like this to be worn in the winter, but you can see that the inside is just a nice black polyester. I would say this material is actually kind of thin, uh, but it is soft. Uh, it is polyester. You can tell by looking at this tag here. And the last but not least, if we just flip the jacket over here, you can see that the style pretty much carries around to the back of the jacket. You can see the stitching on the back is seamless. There's no fraying, no pulling, no stitches coming out, for example. Everything looks just absolutely phenomenal here. Okay, so now that I've showed you around the jacket a little bit, I've showed you uh, it has four pockets. It's got two pockets uh, down by the stomach, one on the left and one on the right. It does have a left zipper pocket with a couple little inserts for maybe a pair of sunglasses or a pen and on the inside underneath the chest is another pocket probably big enough for a cell phone let's go ahead and try it on and see just exactly how comfortable it is okay guys so i'm about 6'2 215 pounds i did opt for the extra large if i actually hold my arms out like this You'll see that the sleeves actually come all the way back up on my arm, which I really am not happy about. Also, when I raise my arms like this, it's a little bit tight underneath the armpits, sort of at the back a little bit. It feels a little bit strained. It feels a little bit tight. Uh, I might actually have to step up to an extra, extra large instead of just an extra large. 
Otherwise, having this jacket on, just wearing it casually, it's pretty comfortable. Uh, it is not warm to the point where I'm sweating profusely. This is something you can wear casually out to dinner, out with friends. Uh, also, what I wanted to point out is yes, you do get a pocket on the inside underneath the left chest. This here is an iPhone SE 2020. This is the smallest size iPhone they make. Um, as you can see, this actually fits pretty confidently in this pocket here. As you can see, it's just a Velcro pocket. Uh, it just pretty much attaches and unattaches, giving you quick and easy access. Uh, also on the side of the sleeve here, you do get a, another pocket. This may be for an ID or a couple credit cards. Uh, as you can see, I've got the 4.7 inch iPhone SE here, the smallest iPhone that Apple makes. And as you can see, it just does not fit in the pocket. Uh, one thing I want to point out is the inside of the jacket is polyester, but that only applies to uh, the front of the jacket and the back of the jacket. It does not apply to the sleeves of the jacket. The sleeves of the jacket are the same material you see on the outside of the jacket, which is fine. This is the no boundaries men's and big men's bomber jacket. It does range in between sizes small and 5XL. Like I did say previously, it is just a little bit tight in the armpits. The sleeves are just a little bit too short. Even though I do normally wear a size XL and t-shirts and jackets and sweatshirts and hoodies, I would definitely go for a size up with this jacket. I think an XXL would probably fit me just a little bit better. Uh, the style of this jacket is great. I love the colors that it comes in. It comes in this blue comes in a white gold, comes in a Chianti red, which is like a burgundy. The smoky olive was a pretty subdued green. It was a dark green, but with an orange uh, polyester lining on the inside, it was actually a really sharp looking jacket. It does get five out of five stars out of about 20 customer reviews. My name is John. I really hope you enjoyed this first impressions and try on. I hope it gave you a good idea. Without further ado, I'm gonna go ahead and end this video. If you want to see more content like this, hit that like button, subscribe. Once again, thank you so much for tuning in. My name is John. I will see you in the next one.